welcome back to the channel and this is your first time here you are so so welcome guess what guys we are traveling from togo to ghana today and we are going through the sick bay borders and i would like to take you guys with me i will show you how i exchange my cfa into cities how i settle the custom you know the entire process in case you're in togo and you want to travel to ghana this is the easiest route you can take to ghana so presently we are in Sagbado. We just came from Ajidogome and now we are in Sagbado. From Sagbado we we'll get to Segbe. Sorry if you are not a Togolese so you will not really be familiar with the uh, neighborhoods I just mentioned. Please they already know where I'm talking about. Yeah so right now we are heading to Segbe and it's quite cloudy and I'm just praying that it shouldn't rain or even if it's going to rain let me be in the cow i don't want wahala so far if you are enjoying the video please make sure you like please like comment and tell me what you think about this video please <laughs> so i took um a motorcycle from ajidogome to segue for 300 francs so right now we are heading towards the border we are just sitting here and waiting for a taxi that will take us to the border. I don't know, it's getting cloudy, guys, and I'm just hoping that it doesn't rain because if it rains, we are in deep shit. <laughs> God. Um, I'm just hoping that we get into the car first because we are, if we are in the car and it's raining, it's not a problem. But if it starts raining and we are not yet in the car, that's a big problem for us. I'm going to tell you guys some of the requirements you need to cross the borders. Usually, you need a passport, or as a Togolese, you need an ID card. You need your yellow fever card and uh, your coronavirus card. I don't, I don't think they are asking for coronavirus cards again, but before they used to ask. But if you don't have any of the above um, documents, the documents I mentioned, you are going to pay. Yeah. So usually, it's like just budget about. 10 US dollars, that's like 5,000 to settle the borders. Just budget that amount. Even though you are not going to pay that amount, but just budget that amount to pay. But if you are passing through the main border, which is Aplau border, you have to you need a passport. It's a must. Yeah, but as a Togolese, you can use your ID card and pass. But for foreigners, you need a passport. But if you don't have a passport as a foreigner, you can pass through the Sick Bay border and, you know, it's it's way easier to pass through Sikbe than Aplau. Yeah, so those are some of the requirements you need. And of course, you need money, you know, because you have to exchange your CFA into CDs. I will show you guys the process where I'm exchanging the money. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Because in Ghana, they use CDs, they don't use CFA. So right now, when we get to the borders, I will exchange my CFA into CDs. So we just arrived the Sig Bay borders and we are exchanging our CFA into CDs. Usually you have people here who are selling SIM cards in case you want to buy a SIM card. And uh, if you want to exchange your CFA into CDs, you can exchange it here. But the thing is, you know, the rate you are getting here is not the same rate on Google because at least these people are also making some, something for themselves. And you have to come here and show your ID cards. To the military men and if you don't have an id you have to pay you know it is what it is <laughs> yeah so this is the sick bay brothers um getting into ghana and uh, after settling everything we are in ghana guys we are in ghana yeah it's just like a three minutes walk from the borders crossing into ghana like it's not far yeah, all these trucks they are loading them. Maybe they are going to Accra or something. So this is where we will get a car for uh, to Ghana. You know when you start seeing MTN, just know that you're in Ghana <laughs> because we don't have MTN in Togo. So from here we got a car and uh, a car from here to Sege because we are going to Sege is 60, is 40 cities. But if you are going to Accra itself, it's 65 cities. Yeah, so. 
we are just driving through the Volta region right now and you will notice that they have petrol stations everywhere in the Volta region I don't know Ghana in general they have so many petrol stations yeah and uh, these people here are very famous for their rice farms as well you see like very I don't know the place is quite swampy so they grow a lot of rice here in the Volta region it's a very beautiful place you know very quiet and chill I, I don't know it's very similar it's part of Togo that was added to Ghana yeah the Volta region was once um, Togo that was added to Ghana you know with the col colonial masters and everything they did in Africa yeah it is what it is and so from Sekbe borders to where we are going is about three hours if the car is really slow it's three hours but if it's fast it's about um two hours yeah so we'll be passing through the Sogakope the famous Sogakope bridge and we will get to Ada and from Ada we get to Sege from Sege you get to Tema and from Tema you get to Accra yes as a Cameroonian traveling in West Africa, I need to buy a visa which is about 50 US dollars if I was passing through Aplau. Yeah, I need to stamp my passport and the visa is 25,000 francs. But since I was passing through Sig Bay, um, I didn't have to like stamp my passport. So that's one of the advantage of passing through the Sig Bay border, borders. Yeah, and uh, you know, if you're a foreigner as well, let's say you are from Central Africa traveling in West Africa, you don't have to worry because I know what I go through in Cameroon as a Cameroonian, you know, even if I don't have my ID, I have to settle and settle and settle these uh, military men. But in Ghana, everybody's chill. They don't really care, you know. I've traveled to Ghana about four or five times and, you know, I, I haven't had any trouble with the military men and stuff like that unlike Cameroon that if you don't have ID card <laughs> you have buy market they will show you pepe even in Nigeria the same thing yeah so here they don't do that these people are very chilled the only issue you can face on the way is if you are carrying a lot of stuff because a lot of Ghanaians go to Togo to buy like a body cream hair and clothes so if you are buying a lot of stuff to go and sell in Ghana you have to pay the custom fee yeah, they will keep stopping you and you pay but if you don't have anything let's say you have just your clothes nobody is going to ask for anything which is very very nice so the car is going to stop at sugar coffee that's before the sugar coffee bridge and you guys can eat yeah because they sell like a lot of street food and stuff like that so while you are traveling from togo to ghana and you know you get to sugar coffee buy whatever you want to buy because from there there is no stop for you so right here we are almost at the sugar coffee uh bridge yeah you know when you cross from Sogakopi to Ada, that's when you are like in the real Ghana <laughs> because they consider the Volta region like part of Togo. Yeah, they, a lot of people still feel like uh, the Volta region is part of Togo because even the language, they speak the same language with Togolese people, which is the AV, but uh, they speak English as a, an international language. Yeah, so right now we are crossing the Sogakopi bridge. Yeah, it's very long yeah the view as well is amazing yeah so this is where the rich men in ghana come to spend money in this area they have a lot of beautiful resorts where people come here to spend time during the weekends or you know, during festivals actually um there is a festival here in the first week of august here in ada so if you're in ghana you can come and have fun here so we already arrived uh sege right now and yeah we are almost at the guest house where we are staying i'm really happy for journey mercy so because the way these structural drivers are driving oh my god it's like they are going for war yeah so we almost arrived and uh, i'm so happy right here this is sege for people who know sege this is sege junction yeah and right now we are heading to the guest house where we are staying <laughs> yeah so finally we arrived ghana and uh, presently we are in sege let me show you guys where we are staying we are staying in collins villa in sege in case you're in sege looking for a place to stay for a week for a month 
come here and enjoy this beautiful villa yeah it's very very affordable as well anyways i'm going to do a proper tour of the villa you know because it's so beautiful so we were offered the authentic banku and okra stew and it was so so delicious true mamli you are spoiling us the person hosting us in ghana is true mamli guys i will leave her channel please subscribe to her channel and thank me later yeah from there we went to visit this um beach resort in ada yeah it's a very very beautiful place yeah we are visiting a resort here in ghana and it's so beautiful oh my god look at this you don't need to go to dubai you don't need to go to miami oh my god we have it here oh, oh my god. this is ghana guys oh my in the border god. region oh, oh my god. god we are in ada this is Ada and you can see how beautiful this place is. I was here before, I shared a video like a year ago and you know, it keeps getting even more and more beautiful. So if you are in Ada looking for a place to chill, you know we have places like this that you can come here and have the time of your life. Yeah, I'll show you guys around, you know you can have like boat rides, you can eat, there is a restaurant, you know just to have fun. This is the beauty of Africa, yeah. You can see a boat on the on the river, you guys. There are other resorts over there as well. So beautiful, guys. Look, this place is covered with resorts. Then we have the aqua safari as well. It's very close to this place. Yeah, this is so cool. You know. And the last time I came here, I could see like a lot of fishes in here. Yeah. You can have a boat ride as so, well. Uh... Yeah, so if you were wondering what this place is called, it's called Chalekope. Yeah, it's quite close to this uh, aqua safari and the... Uh, Soga Kopi Bridge, you know, here in Ada. So it's very famous as well. A lot of people know about this place. So if you want to visit here, just say you want to go to Chale Kopi in Ada, you know, to any taxi that you are taking, and they will bring you right here. Can I come on a boat ride? Yeah. You fish more than 
Huh? Yeah, yeah, to be paid as tickets. Ah, uh, really? How much is the ticket from here now? Ticket is 50 Ghana cities. 50 per person? Yeah, ticket. Is it that expensive? This is a ticket. Is it written on it? And how many minutes do you have to ride the boat? Okay, you to take you to the other side and bring you back. Can I go on the land when I'm there? Can you go? On the land? Oh yeah, why not? Really? Yeah. So this ticket, when you get there, that will enable you to enter. In there? Uh -huh, because when you get there, you are paying entrance fee of 80, but the boat is 60 in 60 hours. So it will cost you 200 Ghana cities. To do what? To cross over and come back. It's really? a nice place. Wow. You know I've been here? No. That's the treasure I know. So it means if I give 50 here, I'll still pay over there? No, what I mean, you pay 60, the boat take you, you pay 80 over there. You come in by pay another 60 for the boat again. Wow. I I'm not that rich. Oh. <laughs> well, that's the policy, if you want to go there. So it's uh, like, if I want to go inside. Like, uh, booking for a ticket on a flight. Ah. Uh. so much fun guys it's so beautiful over here take a look <laughs> this is Ghana drink yeah the truly Ghanaian beer Heavenly, hello. Heavenly, say hello. It's not open. It's getting a cold, even though. Anything you This is made from grass. Oh. 